Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Weekend Energy for December 11th and 12th. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. All right, so let's see what's going on here. See what's happening and see who needs to hear a message. So those are the two that I saw. We have the Nine of Cups crossed by the Nine of Swords. All right, what is the base of the situation here? What is the foundation of the situation here? All right, the passing energy, passing energy for this reading, passing energy for this reading. Passing energy for this reading. What is passing energy for this reading? Okay, I feel that there's a shakeup happening, but you have to remember that you have family that you can rely on. I feel that you are worried about a relationship, that you're stressing, you're worried, you have anxiety about a relationship or a particular person. It's something that has to... It has to work itself out. I feel like, actually looking at the cards, I feel like it's a past relationship that you are thinking about. And it's going to take you some time to get over it. This is not something that's going to happen overnight, but you have to be careful that you don't hang on to these energies for a long time because I feel that it can do more harm than good. I feel like this is something that you have to process. I kind of feel like it's, it's fresh. I do feel that there's an opportunity for things to change up though. You just have to be patient and work through it. Sometimes when we have a breakup, it's like, okay, I already wanna be over this and I already wanna be done this and I don't wanna think about this anymore and I wanna be past this part, but I feel like you're sort of in the thick of things and you're, you just wanna get past it and you will it's just going to take some time and to just be careful that you don't stay in the energy for too long and if you see opportunities for you to break away from this energy then that's something that you need to do or to find those opportunities for you to break away from the energy All right, let me see, let's, maybe let's try these. Okay, so what is clarification for this Nine of Swords and you have the power to make things happen. You have the power to move on from the situation or to let the situation take control of you. You have the power, it's in your hands. There's a new start, but you just have to be patient. This is a growing experience for you. This is something that you need to make sure that you learn and you grow from it so that way this does not happen again. Or if you see red flags that you know that 
this is something that you need to move away from and you have to look at what can what have you learned from this situation instead of focusing on how every instead of focusing on these three cups focusing on what have you learned from this situation and reaching out to those that can help you through this instead of being by yourself because yes you need time to process things but it's almost like I said don't let it consume you don't hold things back don't stay in that energy reach out to those family those friends and those family members that you can trust that can help you through this situation and even though you can't see it now there is going to be that aha moment where you open your eyes and you're you realize yes it was a good thing that I did move on from this and I'm stronger than I thought I was and I did not let this situation take control of me. And that opens the door for a new relationship that's to come in that is a better fit. <laughs> it could be a King of Wands, but I feel like it's somebody who's very fiery and very passionate. And even though it's hard to see it right now, that you don't want this energy to stop these changes and this new relationship and these new things to come in. Because the longer you stay in this energy, it prevents those things to come in. And there was a... Um, Every morning I post a, a saying and it was that if you're, to the effect of it, if you're staying in what it is that's not good for you, you're preventing those good things to come in for you. And I feel like that's, that's what this is, is that you have to make sure that you don't, yes, you have to process it, yes, you have to work through it, but don't let it consume you and weigh you down try to learn what you can from it and move forward and to have the support of those people around you that you know you can trust and that can truly help you through this and that brings in new opportunities that you don't see yet you don't you don't see this yet because you can't see this right now because you're in this energy here but you are in control you have the power to take control of this situation and that's what you need to do all right, so let's close out with a fortune reading card. Sometimes it's hard to see that when you're in the thick of things. Judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your, of your life. And I feel like that's very good that goes with this reading is that seeing, learning from this experience and not staying in the energy and moving forward and this is a diary here so maybe writing those things down writing those frustrations down writing the good the bad and the ugly down kind of writing writing it on a paper and kind of releasing it so that you're no longer holding it in anymore so that you're not letting it take control of you that you're taking control of it all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time